Welcome back to SciTech Inner Mountain training videos. We're going to do an SX12 today. We're going to start talking scanners. What I've got here today is the Trimble SX12. We're going to actually use uh, SiteWorks for it. What I've done here is I've set myself up on a project that's got quite a bit of grade change and quite a bit of ups and downs. There's an, uh, including a lot of brush on the hillside over here. Where a scanner would come into play, in my opinion, is areas where you have depri you're deprived to be able to fly a drone, you're inside a building, you're underneath a structure, somewhere you can't fly a drone, but also in a scenario like this where if I wanted to scan this hillside right here, yeah, I can walk over there with my rover and I can go, I can go walk it with my rover and actually get shots on it. But right now, where I've got the scanner set up right here, I can do either what's called a rectangle, and we'll get into those settings in a second. I can do a rectangle area, or I can do a polygon where I shoot, uh, you know, the exact spots that I want to make a window to actually shoot. The other option is to do what's called a full dome, which means that the total station scanner here will actually scan up and down and to a certain distance that I want, and it can scan this entire area right here. Now keep in mind with scanners, they're just like any total station, everything that you do with it is going to be line of sight. So where my truck is right there, there's going to be a black spot on the back side of it. That crane, and those cranes, and the connexes, it's all line of sight, and like a heavy, heavy tree up there that's got a lot of tr uh, leaves on it, I mean. But my intentions here, and with all these training videos I do, is my scenario that I'm giving you right now may not be exactly what you're going to use it for. I want to just train you on how to use the scanner, how to set up the job site, how to set up using the scanner and the basic functions of it, and you need to apply it to your job sites. That's my intentions here. So let's go ahead and get started with uh, SiteWorks. So with any, any site work settings, go ahead and just create a new job site. We'll just call this the uh, SX12 uh, L3 scan. We'll create a job site. Um, one thing is, is this is just like any other total station where you can actually backside it into control points. In this video, I'm not going to actually backside it in, but it would be like any other one where I would either shoot targets that I have, uh, shoot backsites or walk it and do that. I'm going to just do kind of a, a job site that's just a, a default, the northern easting, and we're going to go ahead and scan this hillside. So on my job site here, I'm going to set it up. We're going to go into next. I'm not going to set up a coordinate system or anything else in here. We're going to just create a work order, and we'll call this the uh, hillside. And then for a design, I don't have a design, obviously. We're going to go ahead and hit accept. Now, with your scanner, you've got the same bubble on the bottom, on this uh, plate at the bottom here that you can level it up. There is no face plate. So if you're used to using S, uh, the nine, SP930s right there, you're going to have a face plate. This one has no way of actually setting any of that. So the one thing right off the bat you have to be aware of is you do not have a face plate to look at what the numbers are to level it up. So right off the bat, not knowing what the radio channel is, because you can hook into the, the uh, total station here, the SX-12 with radio, and you can also do Wi-Fi. One thing that I'll tell you on that is some scans I've done in the past, I found that the data that's being written to the data collector, because when it's scanning, that data is not writing onto a card on here. It's writing to your program on here. And when I've done it with just using radio, it seems like the data collector has gotten laggy. So I found that Wi-Fi is the best. So usually when I do a scan, I'll get it started, which we will hear in a minute, and then I'll just set the data collector here and let it do its thing. So receiver status, we're going to close out of that. What we got to do right off the bat, not knowing what the radio channel is until I get into it, is I've got to come in here and go to my project setup, and I got to go connect device, and I'm going to connect total station. So in here, you've got your Trimble, and we're going to go SPS series and then down. So if you've connected any others, keep in mind that you've got an SX10 and an SX12 option in there. So in here, you've got radio and cable and Wi-Fi. Since I don't know what the radio channel is, we're going to go Wi-Fi. And we're going to go ahead and scan with this little option on the side right here to see what's here once we actually turn it on. So just to show you that setting... There is the power button on the side right here that you still go ahead and click that after you have pre-leveled it as close as you can with the bottom plate here. 
and we'll still have all the other options that you would traditionally have to actually level it up once connected to it. So we'll let that initialize. One thing to keep in mind is the light on the side, once it starts blinking slow, that means that it's sending out a Bluetooth signal ready to go, or Wi-Fi, excuse me. If that's not flashing, double tap that button on the side and it will reset the uh, Wi-Fi option. So we're gonna go ahead and hit the scan button and we're gonna look for it. So right there, there's the SX12. It showed up as an option in here with the serial number. I'm gonna click on it and hit okay. We're gonna make the connection to it. You'll know when it's making the connection if you are standing by it because you'll hear the same kind of grindings and moaning noises, noises that a normal SPS 930 would make. Once we've connected and got into it, you can see that the actual level that it knows internally is off from that plate right there. So if you watched any other Meyer videos, remember that siding is the way that it's sitting this way, trunning the side to side. So knowing that it's off side to side, I'm gonna hit the one right here and click that till I get that as close to zero as I can. Then we'll either hit one in the front or the back to start leveling it up frontwards and backwards. It's a little bit of a game back and forth because some of those set screws are not always set the way that it needs to go, so it's a little bit of both of them. Once we're level, enable the uh, compensator, go ahead and hit accept. We'll come out and we'll actually set it up just like we would in the other one. Okay, so out here we're about 80 degrees, we'll hit accept. Come in here, change, we'll go right past that. Now the reason why it says set up with no control point is remember I don't have a job site that has Northern Easting is in a known calibration or any of that to it. It's just, it has no idea where it's at. So I'm gonna go ahead and face it north just so it has a general idea when I actually do the setup. I have a habit of doing 5,000 and 1,000 and 100 on the elevation. But keep in mind, if there's anything you're gonna scan that you think is below 100 feet or whatever you've set in there, then where it's at, maybe make that a little bit more. So in this case, because the little is a little deeper over there, I'm gonna go 200 for the elevation. I'm gonna hit accept, and we're in. So once you're in here, if you need to know what the radio channel is for it, or you need to set that, you can go into your menu button on the side here and go down to settings, and you can go down to total station settings, and in there, you can go to the settings right there and radio settings and actually see this one, if you're traditionally used to using the radio channel, is at 30 and 170. You can change that right there to assign this a number. I'm going to leave it on Wi-Fi. So knowing that it's going to do all this uh, scanning for us, if you notice in your menu button here, as you go down through that, there's some different settings in here that, norm that aren't normally in there if you're running an SPS 930 or GPS. Underneath this uh, measure option, is an actual SX scanning option. In here is where you can actually set it to what the settings you want in here. We'll go right down through this. So we can call this a scan name. I'm gonna call this the hillside. Now on the framing, here's where you get to pick between what I mentioned, a full dome. Full dome means that it's gonna run up, scan straight up, and then it's gonna scan, scan, scan down, and straight down and then it's gonna move over and it's gonna go straight up, straight down, and it's gonna go 360 degrees all the way around in a scan. If you do rectangle, that's where I can actually on the screen draw a rectangle, which we'll do in a second. And then the other option is a polygon where I can actually pick a spot. So when you're on rectangle, you don't physically have to turn the total station out here to where you want it. You can see that you've got the camera on the front right here running and you can see it on the screen. If that's where I wanted to scan that hillside, I can click a high or a low and I can hit down there and just a top and a down or a down and a high and it makes a rectangle there. That's gonna tell it to just scan right there. If I wanted to do a polygon, it would be something where I could do a little bit in and out of a, a natural feature so it doesn't shoot up into the sky or where I don't want. We'll start at the top of the pile there, or hill, and we'll pick one right there, and then we'll come down and hit down below, and then I'll come over to the bottom here, and then I'll come up, and then if I wanted to drop something down in the middle, you can see that I can, with the polygon, actually eliminate parts that I don't want it to scan in. For this video, I'm gonna put it on a full dome just to show you a full scan everywhere out here. Now going down through that list on the density, you gotta be really careful on this one. You've got coarse, 
And if you actually leave it on course and then go minimum distance, you can tell the total station a minimum distance to take a shot and a maximum distance. This one's a little bit hard. Sometimes on the maximum, you don't really know exactly how far that is right there. But if you know that you've got buildings or something way in the distance, you need to get overshoot on this number. And the same thing right here, I'm going to just probably put in about a thousand feet because the dome that I'm going to shoot over here is going to shoot out quite a ways. But for minimum, I'm going to put a 0.50 to six inches. Maximum distance, I'm going to put out about a thousand feet. And then the number of points that it's going to take there estimated is going to show up. And then you've got an estimated time. This is the one to be careful of and watch on the estimated time. If you're out doing a scan and you've got a meeting to get to, or you got to be somewhere. If you notice that on the course, it's only a 12 minute scan. If I go and put that um, density back on standard and leave all those numbers, all of a sudden it's a 47 minute scan. Let me show you something else. If all of a sudden you go to super fine, now it's a 12 hour scan. I don't think a lot of us have time for a 12 hour scan. Plus right now, I only have a single battery in the side right here. That battery is not gonna last 12 hours. Yes, you can go ahead and still plug it in on the side here with the external battery pack, but just things to be aware of. And then fine, you can put it on fine and that's a three hour one. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on course because I don't need to have a crazy, crazy dense cloud out here. The other good thing about scanners that you'll like is it's gonna shoot through the vegetation on that hillside right there. So coming back to the top, named it hillside, full dome. We're gonna leave it on course, minimum distance, six inches, maximum distance, 1000. And then at the very bottom here, you can also add in the ability to have it take pictures to in business center if you use Trimble Business Center, it can actually do a full dome scan and take pictures of the entire area and actually in business center it'll kind of stitch together. Then it'll make another spin and actually take all the shots. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna check that box for a panorama. And then the camera option there is an overview or primary. We'll just leave it on the default for that. Image overlap 10% so that each image overlaps just like a drone. It's gonna take 40 images and it'll take about two and a half minutes to do that. So we're gonna go ahead and let it do this full scan and then we'll show you what it looks like in the computer and on the data collector because as soon as this is done scanning right now, you do get the point cloud that shows up right here on the data collector, which is a really neat thing. Um, you know, flying with a drone, you gotta go and process it and wait for it. This gives it to you instantly. So these are good in those, those scenarios. So. We're going to go ahead and hit accept and you'll see on the data collector here that it's going uh, going and doing its pictures. So we're going to step out of the way and let it do its thing for a sec. And you'll notice on the screen that it'll actually be giving you a completion of what it's doing right now. I have a habit of just setting the data collector right down below it so that I make sure that the, uh, the actual data collector doesn't get too far away and lose connection. Now that the scanner is done, it writes all that data to the work order folder. So in your work order folder for the projects, you can see I've got background images, designs, my work orders for this SX12 scan. If I go in there, that's still gonna have the work order that I named, which is the hillside. In there, it's gonna have the SPJ file, but it's got a scan data folder right there. In here is going to contain all the different pictures that it took in that full dome all the way around with that 10% overlap. But it's also going to have this .rwi folder. In here is where I've got the scan data. You can see there the size, it's almost 80,000 KB. That RWCX, we'll pull that into Business Center and look at that here in a second. From the main screen here on your SiteWorks, depending on how you have your screen set up, you may wonder why you don't see it right off the bat. Because I'm in plan view on the right side right here. If I zoom in and out, there's no data there. 
what you've got to do is on one of these boxes to the left, I'm going to use this bottom left one, I'm going to change this to 3D Slicer View. Now you can see it starts showing up. So I'm going to move it over to the big box here, and then I'm going to um, put it into a full screen right here. Now the other thing you need to do is on the right side of your screen here, you've got different options because this is looking down on it, and you can see it's in kind of a gray colored scale right here. You've got a paint box on the right side right here that allows you to change the scan to different colors. So you can do it in a scan color, station color, you can do it in the gray like we just had it, but you can also do it in this color coded option right here. We'll go ahead and go back and leave it on the gray intensity right here. If you still don't see the data showing up right here, there's this layers button right here. Sometimes that is defaulted off. So you've got to make sure in this right here that your scan data is actually turned on and then it will show up if it's not. Now you can go ahead and zoom in and pinch in on it and actually look at what the, it looks like. So we're going to zoom in right about here. You can see that yellow icon. That's right where uh, the total station was standing. And yeah, we do have some shadows right there down off the edge. Those white spots represent where it couldn't see. Remember, it is a direct line of sight. On the right side right here, I'm going to hit this uh, icon that makes it to where I can roll it. So I'll take one finger and we'll roll it down to where we can start seeing that hillside. I'm going to zoom in on it a little bit. And now you can start viewing the data. You can see the cranes out there in the background, the whole hillside right there. This point cloud was 7.5 million points. This data right here can be pulled into Business Center and used to surface this out. One other thing I'll show you is that example I was explaining earlier where if you've got something in the way such as my truck, you can see that it actually did scan the side of my truck here, um, but there's nothing on the back side of it right there. Uh, and that and that conics because it was all line of sight. So that would be a, a situation where you would actually want to stand the total station up and resection it in a different spot and let it do another scan. And then what it will do is it will fill in all these white spots right here, especially the further and further you get away from the total station, you can see where it started to kind of get less and less point cloud on the ground um, just because it's only about six feet off the ground. But right around the total station and on the hillside, we've got a really nice point cloud right there. It's really dense um, and probably way more points up on the hillside than I would have taken if I walked it with a rover. The other thing to be really aware of is the different options on your screen right here that they change also with the SX-12. So on your left side where you got these drop down arrows, you can actually put this one on live video. So that one's a live video of what's going on in front of the total station and then you can move it over. So with this, if you're not actually out there with a range pull and you're trying to pinpoint specific things, based on the different views that you bring over here, bring up different options on the right side right here. So you still have your normal plus and minus to scan in and out that way, or view in and out that way. You also have these little dot with a half a turn. So if you click like the left one, it'll turn about 90 degrees. If you click the right one, turn 90 degrees, same thing. You can basically get it to turn quickly the ways that you need it to. The other way to do that is just on the screen, if I wanted to tap to the left here a little bit, I would just tap, double tap on the left side of the screen it will turn right to where I'm at. So I can double tap or single tap and tap over. I can also zoom in. So if I needed to zoom in on that, uh, that crane right there, what I would do is single tap on it and it will single to the middle of that. Then I can take like a phone and actually zoom in. And it's a pretty amazing camera. That crane, as you can see, is quite a ways out there. But I could zoom right in on the cab right there um, that would be really helpful if you're trying to pinpoint um, targets on a hillside, uh, not spy on people, which I know what you're thinking. But if you had a target in a specific area, instead of standing behind it and using the sights right there, you could simply tap it on there like this uh, white barrel that's right there that's for the cranes. I could tap on that. I could zoom in a little closer on it. And I could double tap or tap again. And if it was looking for a specific target, it would automatically snag onto that. 
you have a camera option on the right side to also just take a single picture of that if you needed to. You could name it, we'll just call it the, uh, we'll call it a drum, and we'll save that image. So, just so you know, there's a lot of cool features on here to use with SiteWorks, um, traditionally used with Access. And then also, um, like I've shown you in the other video, if you move over the, uh, the actual scan data, you can move back and forth the different images as you need. So, thank you for watching this video from Site Taker Mountain with the uh, Trimble SC or SX12 scanner ran through SiteWorks.